My name is Gemma and today I'm going to talk a bit about the five-factor personality model. As the name suggests, there are five different areas of the model. They are openness to experience, agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, and neuroticism. The two main topics I'm going to cover with regard to the model are clinical symptoms as they relate to college students' personalities, as well as their treatments, and some health behaviors of college students as they relate to certain aspects of personality, specifically in relation to extroversion and conscientiousness. But before we get to those topics, let me give you a bit of information about what each factor is. People with an openness to experience tend to be curious, imaginative, insightful, original, introspective, with a wide variety of interests. This factor tends to moderate the other factors, but doesn't necessarily cause what we're going to talk about today. People who are agreeable tend to be appreciative, forgiving, generous, kind, sympathetic, and trusting. Conscientious people are efficient, organized, dependable, responsible, and not self-indulgent. People who are extroverted tend to be active, assertive, energetic, outgoing, talkative, and facially and gesturally expressive. Finally, people who are neurotic tend to be anxious, self-pitying, tense, touchy, unstable, and worrying. Now I bet you're wondering, what does any of this have to do with me or you as a college student? Well, I'll tell you. In a clinical study performed by a college counseling center published in the Journal of College Counseling, the relationship between personality characteristics and presenting clinical symptoms of individuals at a college counseling center was examined. I'll give you an extremely abridged summary of what they found to be the student's symptoms in relation to each factor, as well as the treatments they proposed. Individuals with high neuroticism showed greater emotional sensitivity resulting from the use of passive and ineffective coping mechanisms. The proposed treatment was problem-solving or coping skills training, which mirrored very high conscientious behavior. People that showed low extroversion felt very overwhelmed by people. The proposed treatment was social skills or assertive distraining. Students with low agreeableness displayed competitiveness toward peers on campus or lack of social support resulting from wanting to be admired by others. The proposed treatment was development of assertiveness, problem solving, and social skills that could facilitate effective functioning. Individuals with low conscientiousness displayed a lack of direction, impulsivity, and low achievement, with individuals preferring to avoid the consequences of their choices. The proposed treatment was short-term therapy incorporating the use of contingency management strategies to ensure homework completion. In 2006, the associations between the five-factor model of personality and several key health behaviors of college students were examined, the two polar opposites that had the most significant results for conscientiousness and extroversion. It has been proposed that people that are highly extroverted experience chronic cortical under arousal and as a result engage in risky health behaviors to fulfill their biologically based needs for excitement, activity, and sensation. As you'll remember, highly conscientious people are very responsible. They are more likely to wear their seatbelts, exercise, get enough sleep, eat fruits and vegetables, and are less likely to smoke cigarettes, consume alcohol, and binge drink. You'll also remember that extremely extroverted people are very active and outgoing. Highly extroverted people are more likely to smoke cigarettes, have multiple sex partners, are less likely to use condoms, get enough sleep, or engage in alcohol-related harm reduction. 
Let's recap. Today we discussed each element of the five-factor model personality, openness to experience, agreeableness, conscientiousness, extroversion, and neuroticism, as well as their connection and relation to college students concerning clinical symptoms and treatments and health behaviors. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned some more about the five-factor model personality. 